divided into nine parts. The number nine is very important in the Korean cultures. It is the highest single digit before double digit numbers, which makes that number looked upon with great value. There is always a starting point in everything we do in life, just as the form begins in the center, just as we get up from our beds in the morning, we return to them at night. The sounding of the gong. The gong, a circle, represents the beginning of the end. The gong sounds nine times slowly. One time for each color belt representing the nine forms of Salmon Taekwondo between white and black. Humility and loyalty. These are the two most important attributes in the character of a friend, in your life and in martial arts. 
I will now tell you the story of the soap and the candle. As Grandmaster H. U. Lee left Korea to start his new life in America, he was given a gift by his instructor. He did not open it until he was alone that evening. The gift was a simple bar of soap and a candle. Grandmaster did not understand the meaning of the gift and wondered why all this was all his instructor offered him after his years of loyalty. It was not until later, as an instructor himself, that he realized the important meaning behind the precious gifts. A leader must cons make constant sacrifices as the soap, as does the soap and candle. The soap cleanses the body by sacrificing itself, just as leaders sacrifice themselves daily to cleanse the student's mind and body. A candle's light is seen as knowledge. The light reveals what cannot be seen. The candle must also constantly sacrifice itself as it melts away in order to keep the flame alive. In the same way, the leader must illuminate with knowledge and guidance so that the student can understand their path that was dark and without knowledge of some psychology like to a path that has light and the knowledge of Taekwondo. Like Making daily sacrifices for the students is an attribute accepted by the black folks of Taekwondo. Like the students will now light a candle to represent their willingness to make daily sacrifices for others. This proves their loyalty as a student of prime martial arts and a small of Thank you. Honorables, worthy of being honored. A set of personal morale standards and conduct. Worthy of high respect, worthy of worth. This is an attribute that few are able to achieve. The candidates will now sign their name to the school. This demonstrates they are now a part of the family and will help any of those in need of physical or mental training for Taiwan.
Good. Warriors of ancient times were bestowed with titles and positions with the dubbing of a sword or scepter. As it was in ancient times, the candidates are dubbed to the rank of first degree black belt with the title they built by their sovereign. Publicly demonstrating and acknowledging they have achieved this rank through hard work and perseverance with the help of the black belt school come before them.
All right, grandson. Friends, I present to you the newest first degree black belts of Pride Martial Arts. Give a big round of applause. In your first class, okay, you'll get a uh, small token of a, of a title because uh, when we created Pride Martial Arts, we started under uh, Grandmaster Sun Ho Lee, and Sun Ho Ho stands for title. And that's why we have the Tigers and Mascot, not only for that, but also my two boys, their name is Jun Ho and Tan Ho, which stands for Noble Tiger and Vast Tiger. When you reach second degree black belt, you will get a figurine that starts with a, a horse. When I became a master, and we all have team names. Master On is from the Digital Masters, but my master class is from the Blue Horse Masters, so you get a, a horse. When you become third degree, you get a really cool dragon head. And when you reach fourth degree black belt, you get a really special sword at that time. At that fourth degree black um, Very proud of you guys. But you also get a soap, and you get to keep the candle. The teacup's mine. Sorry. <laughs> but you also get the candle is yours, and you get that one as well. Very proud of you guys. Each black belt that trains right, everybody's journey is completely different. And as a black belt, you know, it's like you just completed like, all the prerequisites. And now like, the training is lots different at the back of the club. So I look forward to seeing you in the back of the class. You train your car and we get to do a lot of special different things in the class. I'm super excited to see you guys. So and you're going to be set. Yes, sir, set! Thanks for your family. Okay. Because without them, you guys would not be here. They support you. They are your hugest fans. And they it's been a journey together. This moments, please, please, parents, take these pictures, enjoy these moments, save these moments, because it's, it's a very big deal, because time passes by really fast. I had a student come in just today, and I don't know what's in the air or what's going on, but on the hike, I saw a student from a tiger, and he's now a sophomore in college, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's so good to see her, and he was a black boy. And then someone walked in today, uh, I, I was the very first student of Pride Martial Arts. He lives up in Temeca, and he came out, and his name is Mr. Gatan. And uh, Mr. Cummins knows who he is, uh, and it's a really a need to see him today. Uh, it's really a, uh, that pride is such something that is such a huge part of these kids' lives and the students' lives, and it becomes part of where it's an activity, but now it almost becomes part of the lifestyle. And so, always uh, uh, super proud. You guys are black belts inside and out, and congratulations. All right, so thanks for your family. Say thank you. Thank you. Say I love you. I love you. Yeah, right here. Set. Yes, sir. Set. Making the gong nine times fast. Closing the ceremony. Thank you, Miss Audrey. Ready?